Yeah, so all you have to do is you have like a timed mini game where um, you just have to like flame them when the number pops up to prevent them from getting full or from getting hot. And you just walk around and redo it like multiple times. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. We have Spyro 2 Season of Flame for the Nintendo Game Boy Advanced. And yeah, I tried recording this before and it just kind of bugged out on me, so not, not because of the game or anything, just because... I had things set up a little wrong for this, and it was kind of awful. It's about time we finally had some vacation time, isn't it? Getting rid of all those Rhinox is a real pain in the... Hey, where is everyone? I thought we'd get a welcome home party, for sure. Burr, it's pretty cold here too, what's going on? Isn't that a dragon elder? Let's go ask him! Whoa, her face turned weird there for a second. <laughs> Spyro, you're back. Something has gone horribly wrong. While you were away, an army of Rhinox slipped into the Dragon Realms and stole all the Fireflies. Without Firefly magic, we are unable to breathe fire. To make matters worse... Hey, Spyro, can you still breathe fire? Can't you, Spyro? Wait. Hey, Spyro. Hey. Spyro can still breathe fire. Can't you, Spyro? Sure. Oops. <clears throat> As I was saying, our flame has been turned into ice. The dragon realms have been getting colder and colder. Soon we'll be forced to move. No way! We've got to figure figure out what's going wrong. Um, I better take along. You might need some magical help along the way. D -d -d Don't for forget about me, Spyro. Right, let's go. All right, so you move with the D-pad. You can click A to glide. Or, well, to jump, and then A again to glide, and then A a third time to hover. Uh, R is to charge, um, L, oh, if you hold down L, you can then look around like this. Kind of a cool feature. And then select changes your breath type, and start brings up the, uh, menu. And so we can look at the atlas, for example, here. And we're in sunny plains. We have, uh, looks like six fireflies. Well, obviously six fireflies. And 300 gems. And then game totals. The game does have three bosses, and for... Yeah, we already know how to... We already know how to do that. I already said how to do that. Also, once again, this is another game where purple gems don't exist. Uh, Shamrock Isle, we need three fireflies to get to. That's fun. Uh, for these, you actually need flame breath, so we can't do that quite yet. Also, to get fireflies, I don't know why the game doesn't tell you, but you do that. And we got Smokey, spelt really weird. Isn't that pronounced Smokey then? That's not how you spell Smokey, it's missing an E. Oh yeah, more gliding practice. That is perfectly fine by me. This should be worth a... I know. Why are you telling me instead of Hunter, since he's the one with the, the, the mini game? The only issue with these games, uh, being on Game Boy, is the perspective. These games are actually genu genuinely good, and like the music here is pretty catchy too. It's just really hard to position yourself. Whoa. Okay, yeah, then let me guess, this one requires the hover? Yeah, and see those teardrop, uh, teardrop blue gems? They are, um, the purple gems in this game. Also, I forgot to do something. Oh. I legitimately cannot turn down the volume. There's literally volume on, volume off. I don't think that helps. Yeah, but yeah, see, those are with 25 gems. Also, there's a level here called Country Farms. Nice. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, in this game you actually have to flame these. And we got ourselves Magma. Alright, so Country Farms is technically level 1. I believe Shamrock Isles is level 2. 
I think this is the game, too, that has, like, Agent 9 levels, while the first game in the series had... Um... Yeah, those phases you need to charge. Pretty sure the first game had Sergeant Bird, if I'm not mistaken. We have half the gems now, though, which is pretty darn nice. I do believe you are able to get every gem in every level, and I keep forgetting that... This isn't the, the console versions of Spiral, where you have four buttons to use on the main controller, and not two. So I'm just like, oh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, that's the boss level. If you see Bianca next to a portal, that's the boss level. So we can't go there yet, because we definitely don't have enough uh, fireflies. I keep wanting to call them dragonflies, because it's essentially the same gimmick as those games, just... They're fireflies. And catching them in Ice Breath makes way more sense than catching them in Bubble Breath. Oh yeah, this. This this power-up allows you to freeze water. As long as there's, like, you know, those, like, ripple effects in them. Ooh, those were some good gems right there, that's for sure. This looks like another level over here. Yeah, we have Temple of Dune, which is 10. Oops. Oh yeah, you also can't die in the homeworlds, which is kind of a cool touch that they did to these games. So if you do this, and then flame this, like I said, it will, you know, cause a pathway that will allow you to get across. Alright, and those are one-ups. And this is an Agent 9 level called Alpine Adobe, which requires you to have 18. So there's actually quite a few levels. But there's six per level. Uh, I guess we can talk to you. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So, I thought so we'd have to talk. We got ourselves Incendio. So are they gonna all be like, fire-based names? Like, Smoky, Incendio, Magma? Probably something called Burn or something. Wait, there's another Agent 9 level over here called Minty Mines. I didn't realize that there were two levels. That's really weird to have two of the same... Oh yeah, this is how you use the ice breath. We already know how to do that. We've, we've done this. Byro! Oh yeah, there are gonna be all. I think we're missing one more, right? Probably from you? Yeah, it was you. And this is the last one we can get here, which is Brimstone. So now we need to go and find the rest of the gems, but where are they? Oh, there's a life over here. Oh yeah, then there's Canyon Hop, which requires you to pay money bags. Yeah, so there's also Sheila levels. Ooh. There are a good chunk of gems just chillaxing over here in the middle of friggin' nowhere, man. Oh wait, what's down here? We got another level, Tiki Tropics, which requires 14. This game actually does have quite a few levels, though. For a, a handheld game, it actually has more than... Enter the Dragonfly did. Which is really funny. And there we go, we got all the gems! Right on, so now we can go back to the Country Farms level, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Because... You actually have to do a lot of, like, platforming to get to it again. I should've probably went up here last. That way, um... We didn't have to do all the backtracking. Oops. Just completely didn't jump there. And now we can go here to Country Farms, level 1. And that's not the worst animation I've seen for a loading screen, that's for sure. Oh my god, we're gonna have to sit through this all night, so I'll have a drink while we're waiting. Hopefully the game's not too loud, like I said, though, because... I have no control over the volume. Actually, I might be able to fix it in the next episode. Okay, so what's going on here? Cute little dragon, I wish my poor sister Daisy were here to see this. Those terrible Rhinox ran off with her in the middle of the night, and now I fear that we'll never see her again. Would you be willing to help me find her? Guess I have no option. Also, are there, um... 300 gems here, too? Yep. Oh, it looks like there's four roaming fireflies. There's seven now instead of six. Wow, we found one. Welt. 
Well, I guess that's what happens when you get hit by uh, something hot, right? You can get a wealth. These enemies are ridiculous. Yeah, these levels have a lot of weird pathways like this where they're like multi-dimensional. We also need Flame Breath for those, which is one of the uh, non-roaming challenges that we have to do. Wow, and we already have a bunch of gems just from barely doing anything. Yeah, we have like, what, uh, six of the gems? Also, funny that Ice Breath is killing them and not just freezing them so we have to charge into them. Considering that's how most Spyro games are. Wait, what do I hear on Thought? Okay, there's a chest. I don't know if those drop, um... Okay, that was the spot we were in. I don't remember if they drop gems or fireflies. It's been a while since I played this game. Oh, they freeze us! And we just kind of stay frozen for a while. I, I do believe that, yeah, there is a... A gem over here. And a free one-up. Now we can actually die, though, so you gotta be careful not to fall in the water. And we captured Shock. I guess electricity can create fire. Electricity is a form of heat, so I guess it isn't that far-fetched. Is that another one-up just sitting right there? Oh god, that doo -doo 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 sounds like a, a male. Please help me, that horrible Rhinoch is keeping, here, keeping me here against my will. My sister must be worried sick about me by now. Well, she is, and I got hit by a magic again. Thank you! Thank you! That Rhinoch was the scariest thing I've ever seen. I hope my sister Henrietta got away from them. I don't have anything to repay you with, but maybe you like the sparkly gem I found while I was hiding? Wait, that's no gem, it just flew away. And then... Oh, wait. Now we got our flame breath back! Interesting. I need a lot more fireflies to do that. Wait, why would she need magic to... To, you know, do that, considering fireflies are the ones that power it. You captured blush. I guess red means... Yeah, okay, so now what we can do is we can burn all those. So we want to go and get grab all them before we leave the level. I keep forgetting that this is the charge button in this game. It takes a little bit of getting used to the controls when you haven't played a Game Boy game in quite some time. Oh. Oh man, these guys get me every single time. Is this the last roaming one, or is there one more? There might be one more roaming one. Zap. Okay, so these next few are electricity-based, it seems, which is fine. Now, there were... There was a life over here. I guess, technically, this doesn't loop around that way, so we'll go this way. Also, charging in this game is ridiculously fast. Like, compared to, like, the frame rate and the speed of the game, it just seems really fast. Also, I guess we can go... Oh. These are challenge portals. Oh. Yeah. And have some fun, too. Mm, not always. Some of them are pretty tough. At least I remember some of them being tough. They might not be. But yeah, we'll go We'll go do those later. As for now, we want to go and grab all these hay bales. Or haystacks? I guess they're haystacks, because they're a needle in a haystack, right? Kind of makes sense that it'd be haystacks. And I mean... I forgot we skipped over this part by gliding up to that one big juicy gem that we had found. Oh man, now we're... Hey, look, a key! Whoa, I almost fell into the water. I keep forgetting we're not in the home world anymore, so we gotta be a little more careful. Oh yeah, there's only one checkpoint per level two. Oh. Well, I'm gonna kill you, just to get you out of the way. Or not. This is the last roaming one, Parch. Okay, that comes with heat. Alright. Now we should be able to just finish backtracking here and complete everything that we missed. We almost have all the gems, we're only missing 47, so... There's no way there are 47 gems in this chest over here though, that's for sure. No way. Yeah, that was not 47 gems. That wasn't actually that many gems, to be honest with you. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. 
I believe there was one up here. And then probably at the beginning of the level, right? Beep beep. No, which means that wherever those gems are is exactly where we're missing the uh, haystack. Right? Yeah, because this was the chest. I'm pretty sure... Oh, never mind. There's one right here. Eh. Oh, and that is the last one. And we have... Scald. I don't think challenge... Wait, did you just tell me that a fairy will save my progress now? It seems suspicious. Like, you're gonna have to do this quite a bit in this game. Also, fairies only save your progress once. Not twice. Okay, so nothing over here. Your best bet is to look for, like, open areas like this, naturally, where you could potentially go somewhere else. We're missing quite a few gems, though, to just be done with the level, so... Maybe over here? Seems like there could be something over around this area, maybe? No? It's the beginning of the level again, so I guess we'll go to the challenge portal and see what's up in here. Oh, I guess challenge portals do have gems. And that's all the gems! Never mind, we didn't miss a single one. Now we might as well do this. You, little dragon, is there any way you can help me? I've got to keep all this milk cold until my sister Polly comes and take it to the market, but it's such a hot day. I don't think it's going to make it. Help Mabel? Yeah, so all you have to do is you have like a timed mini game where, um... You just have to like flame them when the number pops up to prevent them from getting full or from getting hot. And you just walk around and redo it like multiple times. Like this. Because it does count your breath that, you know, you... And there we go! You did it! Now all the milk will be fresh when it gets to market. Thank you so much for your help, little dragon. As a token of our appreciation, please take this glowing seed I bought at the market. Whoops, that thing's pretty slippery for a seed. You guys are all dumb. You guys don't know what a bug is? And we got crimson! You caught every, every dragonfly, yay! We beat the level! So now with fire breath in hand, we can go back to the home world and complete it. So let's go to Sunny Plains. Yay, 300 more gems. I don't know how many levels I'm going to do per episode. This game is just super fun though. I love it so much. Alright, now we gotta go and do the last of the, um, the gem, or dragonfly, fireflies, gems, dragonflies, fireflies, I'll get it right eventually. Now we gotta go and flame these little sun altars. There's one altar challenge per homeworld, and they're all with different breath types. So, for example, we need the fire breath for this one. Also, we can go to Shamrock Isle. Now, remember there being a challenge in that level, though? That is a little ridiculous. We can also go to Minty Mines, which we might do instead, just to have a little bit of variety so we don't have, like, all the Agent 9 levels in a row or something like that. But, I don't know yet. I'm not entirely sure. We have to pay money bags to go in there, so we'll come back to that one later. Not quite something we want to do just yet. Uh, we still need 14 to get in there. That one... I believe that's technically the final level of the uh, world. Like, final, like, spiral level. No, wait, no, never mind. Actually, no, it is, because this is the Dune level, right? Yeah, okay, so that is technically the final level. And wasn't there one across the water? Luckily, this changes your breath type for you, though. Yeah, okay, there was one over here. So I gotta press select. I don't like it being select, though. Because I feel like it's just kind of out of the way to press select in terms of, like, the other buttons. 
even if you were playing this on the Game Boy Advance, or even the Game Boy Advance SP, I think SP would probably be the best one, just because of how narrow it is. But I don't think the other ones would be very, uh... If you're just playing on the regular Game Boy Advance, but by the time this game came out, I already had an SP, so it wasn't really that big of an issue. Now, where's this last altar? Is it up top? Like, up here, maybe? Ouch. It's because there's gotta be just, like, one, right? Just, just one altar somewhere? I'm pretty sure we're missing one up top. Maybe not. I guess not. That's probably, like, in a really weird part of the level, because these levels are... Oops. These levels are set up really weird, where... It's hard to get your bearings right. There we go. I told you it'd be really in a really good spot, and that's the last one. We now have Tracer from Overwatch, I guess. Um, I guess technically now, the next level we can do is Shamrock Isle. So in the next episode, guys, I will see you guys when we take on Shamrock Isle. Remember to join the Patreon and Discord in the links below. Remember to leave a like on the video, comment if you enjoyed it, or anything you want. You can start a conversation, talk about your favorite part of the game, or whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye